Welcome to another how-to Hawkeye video. We're going to have a look at the basics of Hawkeye today. It's on the top left, the name of our farm, How to Hawkeye, with a customer number next to it there. And if you have access to other farms, you can click on Switch Farm to select one of those other farms. You can also select a different one as a default, should you wish. In the middle there, you can search for place names, addresses, paddock names, etc. On the right hand side it's the user who's using Hawkeye and just next to that is where notifications would appear and can be cleared, your profile information and where you can get to help. You can see on the bottom there go to help takes you to the Hawkeye website. And down the bottom right of the map there is what we call rubber band zoom so you can drag a box around where you want to zoom to or use the plus or minus to zoom in and out. And if you have a mouse with a mouse wheel, scrolling up and down will give you zooms in and out as well. So from the menu structure there with information under my farm, history, creating and editing paddocks and farm features etc. Mainly information about your farm. The next menu item is our activities area. That's where you can view what's happened on your farm or create them if you need to. A feed wedge and predictive feed wedge and strategic feed budget area. Reports such as nutrient reports, soil test results and agronomy plan where you can order from a Ravensdown agronomy plan or standalone order and down the very bottom your account information where you can share access etc. So let's have a look at information first of all. We can click the star at the top there and it's a bit like a web page. It creates a favourite down the bottom left of the site there you can see there's a little star with information on it. You can click it again if you don't want to see it. So at the top there we can see those tabs, paddocks, blocks and management zones. That's going to show you different parts of different areas on your farm. So if we go to my account and have a look what happens in here. There are preferences in there that we can set how it looks on our farm. So in here you can see there's paddocks, blocks, management zones and features and hazards. And it's showing you what different sorts of labelling can be shown for those different area types. They vary a bit from type to type. And then we have user details. This is where you can edit your own user details such as email address and phone number and also change your password should you wish. Okay let's have a look at the widgets on the farm. So the first one is showing selected. So if I pick a couple of paddocks and then click show selected you'll see only those paddocks show. Now if I just clear that and then look at the next one, it's how you select what's on your farm. So by default it's clicking one at a time. But you can also select by line, so you drag a line through and anything intersected will be selected. And select by polygon lets you select an area and anything that crosses all that is within it will be selected as well. The next one across is bookmark, so you can see one there already. We can create a new bookmark and it uses the extent of what you're looking at to create what we call a spatial bookmark. Now that could be anywhere on the map, it doesn't have to be your farm, but if you've got a large farm, it's quite a handy thing to use. And you can edit the name and delete those as well. To the right of there is the base map selector. So by default it's a topo, but you can select an aerial image such as this one, We use the topo by default because the aerial images are much larger database and slower to appear on your map. You can go to a dark canvas or a light canvas or if you're having bandwidth issues you can have no base map at all and it's delivered much quicker to your map. Okay, the next one across there is our layer list. So you can see there there's paddocks, management zones and blocks. These look quite different on our map. Management zones are the dashed line, obviously the paddocks are the orange line. The next one underneath that is blocks. So when we turn blocks on, these are the, what are used to create your Ravensdown economy plan and very helpful for ordering to make sure you don't select areas or have things spread in the wrong place. So if I click on the map, it's going to let me select the block and I'll turn off everything else and just show what's selected and you can see just the block is showing with the paddocks there. Okay, we'll turn those back off 
and turn on features and hazards. So this is where things such as exclusion zones, hazards on your farm, lines such as waterways, troughs, etc. can be captured. Quite useful for a farm induction or a health and safety meeting. And you can see their exclusion zones can be turned on just by themselves just to make them really clear. They're used specifically in ordering to make sure those areas are chopped out so any file going to a truck or aircraft misses those areas out. Thanks for watching and check out again on this channel for more how-to Hawkeye videos.